19. Use your brain chemicals. There are drugs that you can use to motivate yourself with, and I'm not talking about amphetamine or crack, a deadly form of child's play. Instead, you can get into those energizing chemicals in your system that get activated when you laugh or sing or dance or run or hug someone. When you're having fun, your body chemistry changes, and you get new biochemical surges of motivation and energy. And there isn't anything you do that can't be transformed into something interesting and uplifting. Viktor Frankl has written startling accounts of his life in the Nazi concentration camps, and how some prisoners created new universes unto themselves inside their own minds. It might sound absurd, but truly imaginative people can access their inner chemical creativity in the loneliness of a prison cell. Don't keep trying to go outside yourself searching for something that's fun. It's not out there anywhere, it's inside. The opportunity for fun is in your own energy system your synergy of heart and mind. That's where you'll find it. Pro Football Hall of Famer Fran Tarkenton recommends looking at any task you do as fun. If it's not fun, he says, you're not doing it right. People who get high on marijuana often find they can laugh at anything. The problem with them is that they think this kind of fun is inherent in the marijuana. It's not. The capacity for fun was already there inside of them. The marijuana just artificially opened them up to it. But the physical and psychological price paid for such a drugged opening is not worth the high. I wish I didn't know this firsthand, but I do. The price drug users pay is this. Their self-esteem suffers because they didn't create the fun they had they thought the drugs did it for them. So they keep shrinking, the more they use, into greater paranoia and self-disgust. Soon they're using the drug just to feel normal. William Burroughs, a former drug addict and author of Naked Lunch, discovered something that was very interesting and bitterly amusing to him after finally recovering from his addictions. There isn't any feeling you can get on drugs, he said, that you can't get without drugs. Make a commitment to yourself to find the natural highs you need to stay motivated. Start by finding out what it does to your mood and energy to laugh, to sing, to dance, to walk, to run, to hug someone, or to get something done. Then support your experiments by telling yourself that you're not interested in doing anything that isn't fun. If you can't immediately see the fun in something, find a way to create it. Once you have made a task fun, you have solved the problem of self-motivation.